Now we're going to go live to Atlanta with our absolute icon reporter, Heather Mullins. She is like a bulldog. Heather and I have been covering this Atlanta vote fraud since the very first day. Heather is our person on the ground correspondent with Real America's Voice. Heather, right now, is live in Atlanta at the ballot warehouse, the scene of where everybody was supposed to get together today to figure out how they were going to scan these ballots, what equipment they needed. That didn't happen. Why? Because the Fulton County Board of Registered Elections, the BRE, instead, yesterday, in a surprise move, hired two high-powered defense criminal defense attorneys. Donald Samuel, who, by the way, was the attorney for Ray Lewis, the former linebacker of the Ravens, after the Super Bowl, when potentially he was indicted or about to be indicted for a double homicide. He defended Ray Lewis, also Amanda Clark Palmer. So you're asking yourself, why did Fulton County hire two high-powered criminal defense attorneys at taxpayers' expense? We're about to find out. Heather Mullins live on the scene in Atlanta at the warehouse. Heather, you're doing fantastic work for us on the scene. Tell us, where is everybody? What happened? Well, John, I mean, this is is kind of shocking, but at the same time, it's not shocking. I mean, we've had a lot of weird things happen in Fulton County as far as the election goes, and we were finally about to get some answers today when the plaintiff's attorneys were supposed to be meeting right here at this very building. The ballots in question are stored in the building behind me. I mean, this is literally where we need to be to get the answers that we're all seeking. But unfortunately, like you said, it's not going to happen today. In fact, the date I found out where they're going back to court is not until June 21st. So this move by the, the town has bought them a considerable amount of time and is probably going to buy them some more time. Now, the interesting thing is, is in the documents that they filed, these two attorneys, uh, they cite that back on April 21st, the Fulton County Board of Registration and Elections became a party uh, to this matter, that they were not originally a party in the lawsuit, but became one. So at any point in time, since April 21st, they could have filed this paperwork, but for whatever reason, they waited until the day before we were supposed to be here to go over how to access those ballots to file the paperwork to buy them more time. So stall, ta stall tactic, in my opinion, John.